Rebecca, tell me about some of the challenges that you faced in the HR stream. Um, there were a number of challenges that we, we faced and we had to overcome. Um, and I, I suppose the sig most significant for me, I could choose four out of them. Yeah. And to talk about the first one um, was definitely about leadership. Leadership within any organisation is absolutely fundamental and when you're merging founding organisation and you're managing by committee that becomes even more complex. Um, the project working group was set up in order to manage the design of the new organisation through five phases and in phase four we started the HR stream. It became apparent that um, the project working group were made up of senior managers within their existing organisations and they had to wear a number of hats. The two most important in the, in the HR stream was the hat of the design of the organisation but the second hat was their own personal circumstances and position within both their existing organisation and potentially within the new organisation. So when we came to do the organisational design piece of the HR stream, it became very complex. We were asking people to put aside their personal circumstances in order to decide what was preserved and also what was um, what was let go within the new organisation. And that was very difficult for, for people, bearing in mind that they weren't they, they didn't know whether they were going to have a job in the long term or not. The other complexity within that was the challenge that the business plan was of not of any significant detail. So when you were looking at the new organisation it was very difficult to, to visualise what that new organisation would look like and what it would be doing on a day-to-day -day basis and therefore what the scope of the job was would, would be and how they would divide up into different functions. Um, we set up working parties to our staff to have a look at these areas but again it was very difficult to visualise that um, and bearing in mind that the project working group were working on the project on a day-to-day -day basis the staff were reliant on the project working group's communication in order to understand the new organisation so they were at even more of a disadvantage than the project working group. What happened in the end is we appointed a project manager and what that allowed us to do is to um, assign a level of leadership to that one individual person who could make significant decisions about the organisational design. So while some of the groundwork was done through the organisation and engaging employees, um, the majority of the decision making was done um, with the project manager and then the project manager proposing that to project working group who then signed it off. Was this project manager an external person? This was actually an internal person. A person who was part of the project working group had done a significant amount of work on delivering proposals um, to project working group and the board. So we felt had very much the capability to be able to continue that work, work in a more structured role as project manager. And project work, working group were very enthusiastic about that person taking the lead because they had all felt the uh, strains of management by committee in those very late stages.